we, man, oh man, hey, what's good, y'all? Welcome back to A1 Hoop Zone. What are we reacting to today? Team USA, nail biter game versus Serbia to move on to the gold medal game. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. Hey, sub to the channel if you're new. Um, hit the like button as well. All, all that, all that, all that. Hey, we we too excited over here, man. So in my prediction video, I said Team USA was gonna win. I won minus 15. Clearly, I was wrong. But one of my guys texted me saying, <laughs> I ain't going gonna, gonna to say his name, but he said, hey, bro. <laughs> he said, hey, bro, Team USA can stay over there with this type of performance. They can stay in Paris, right? I said, I texted back and I said, bro, it's a lot of game left. Don't worry. They're going to come back and they're going to win by four. Now, if people challenge me on this, I can show the proof. But I told him they're going to win by four. He, 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 he watching the game. Look, this is a 40-minute game. Normally, obviously, we know NBA games is 48 minutes, but it's a 40-minute game in the case of the Olympics. A lot of basketball left to be played. When I tell y'all, Steph came up in the clutch. LeBron had some clutch buckets. KD with that nasty crossover mid. Ooh -hoo -hoo. Hey, Serbia has some life at the end. KD gave that boy that hezzy left to right, right into his midi. Knocked it, knocked it down. I said, oh, yeah, we cooking. No, it's that, it's that clutch time. Now them shots, now them important shots. You know what I mean? Now them open shots is getting a little, a little bit. They're getting a little tight on Serbia, and we saw that. You know what I mean? It was some shots that was missed. Joel Embiid played huge, 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 huge. He finally had his shining moment to go head to head with Jokic, and we saw how that turned out. We saw how that turned out. So shout out to Joel Embiid, man. Hell, scratch that. Shout out to the team, whole team USA, man. They was up there. They, they was. If you wasn't in the game, you was engaged, and you putting your energy into the game. If you look at that Team USA bench, bro, they was going wild. They was they was giving that team all their energy. And Serbia, they came out and played a hell of a game. I said it was going to be different. It was, They were going to make the adjustment. It was going to be extremely hard, hard-fought, tough game. Uh, team USA had a couple runs to get it within single digits. Serbia responded accordingly, bumping it right back up to a double-digit lead, 15, and things of that nature. But, again, Team USA depth played a huge part in this comeback win and pivotal key buckets and clutch moments, man. Um, it's only a matter of time. You can only keep shooting down or, or keep shooters and scores down so much. KD came alive. Steph was alive from the whole point, knocking down shots, man. This was this was Steph's obviously breakthrough, biggest game so far in the Team USA jersey, uh, especially more so in the Olympics. But again, these big time players make big time plays, man. And we saw that each and every one of these players are obviously the number one at the very least, uh, 1A on their teams. And we saw that shine through, man. We saw Coach Kerr make the proper adjustments. I was calling for certain lineups for him to throw out there. He did that. He mixed and matched. And, and it worked out, man. It definitely worked out. And it was one of those things. Hats off again to Serbia. Hell of a game plan. Hell of an executed game plan. Uh, Bogdan was out there talking to talk and walking to walk, knocking down threes, getting that, getting that mellow joint on. Um, he was all, you know, he was all for it, man. Jokic had his team ready. Jokic didn't do a lot of the scoring like that, man. But Jokic, they understood the importance of it. And Team USA knew how Jokic is going to come with this game, too. So you got to see definitely a lot of adjustments made on both ends. But uh, Team USA pulled it out in the end. A hell of a nail-biter game. Um, man, that, that, that was one of the games where, again, Team USA had to dig deep. What this show is not only does Team USA have depth, they also have the mental fortitude and strength to be able to overcome a lead of that nature, come back, just like take the lead, and then and then make sure that they put some space in between to close out the game. For, for, so for other teams looking, they're like, dang, where is Team USA vulnerable? If you're knocking down threes, you give yourself a great chance. That's, what, that's one thing I can say, because we saw Ser like Serbia was, man, they were shooting lights out, all of them lights out. The all them guys gave – they gave – they had their best game of their lives against Team USA at the, at the best moment. And, and, and unfortunately, it just fell short on their end. But hell of a game. Absolute hell of a game. And this is an instant classic type of game. So I'm hoping that NBA TV put this on Hardwood Classic. Even though they typically only do mainly, <laughs> mainly uh, uh, you know, NBA games and, and WNBA games and things of that nature, I'm really hoping that they have a full playback of this and put this on Hardwood Classic or somewhere where people can watch it over and over, man, because it was a hell of a game. Hell of a game. But we saw what happened, man. We saw what happened. Team USA pulled out. Curry had, Curry had obviously, what was it, 36, 37 points, man. So 
Ty, Ty, Carmelo Anthony for, for most games, a lot of Team USA player. KD, again, I can't speak enough. Devin Booker stepping up huge. Not telling y'all, man, it was pivotal big-time shots being made at times when they needed it most, man. So shout-out to Serbia for putting up a hell of a game, taking that bronze medal. Shout-out to Team USA, showing why they're the odds favorites and, and they can overcome uh, adversity and things of that nature, man. And uh, shout-out to the 190-year-old man, LeBron James, showing that he's still one of the best. Uh, best to do it. They trust him. Everybody trusts him with that team as far as him, the ball being in his hands and things of that nature. Yeah, I got to excuse the background. I ran to the, the, the nearest storage room and had to get the video out to y'all, man. So, again, hell of a game. Absolute hell of a game. But y'all let me know what y'all think in the comment section, man. Who was sweating? Who was over there? Had their palms all sweaty? Knee, knees is weak. <laughs> uh, not to call it whatever and stuff like that. But y'all let me know how how'd y'all feel about it, man. Did y'all think Tammy was going to lose? Now that they won, do y'all think Team USA is favorite to be France? Y'all know we got a prediction video coming up for that. So we definitely going to get that to y'all as well. Uh, y'all let me know what y'all think in the comment section, man. I'll be sure to respond to each and every one of y'all. Again, smash that like button, subscribe to the channel if you're new. Uh, if you want to support the channel, you see that information right there. It's in the description as well. Uh, feel free to leave a super thanks. If you don't know what that is, bag out, hit the like button. Look for icons over to the right, see where it says thanks. Click that, follow the instructions, you can support the channel that way, man. But again, I appreciate each and every one, one of y'all coming through. Shout out again to Team USA doing their thing and moving on to the gold medal game. And uh, we're going to be back with another one, man. Y'all know what it is. We out of here. Y'all be safe.